Okay, welcome to Acme Detection's video on how we find slab leaks. I'm Gary Fuller, the owner here. Typically, we'll arrive at a slab leak, the area will be wet from the damage, and we usually start with an infrared camera. However, here, ServiceMaster has already been out, they've already pulled the carpet and dried down the area, so there isn't a terrible mess. But we're gonna go ahead and fire up the infrared camera and see if we can still see anything. Okay, what we're looking at here is a hot water leak. So if you can see the temperature in the middle is 82.4 degrees. If we move out here to the colder area, it's 76 degrees. Now since it's a hot water leak, that area of the slab is still hot. What we've done is we've gone ahead and turned the water on for five minutes. We've allowed the area to heat up and then we went ahead and took a picture. So we, we like this area. This is not 100%, but this gives us a place to look. Yeah. So in back of the shower here, we've got another area. Now, if you're looking at this screen, this is, this is a cold spot, but this is a previous repair. And a lot of times you'll get thermal anomalies from previous repairs. Sometimes they make it easier to find the leak and sometimes they make it harder to find the leak. The thermal cameras are good for us to inspect for damage. We can see if the water has crept up the walls into the drywall. Blue colors where the water is, is creeping up the wall. We don't see anything there over here. And we're going to go ahead and look on the other wall here because we also had water over here. Here we're lucky. Service Master got in right away, did their work, and there really isn't any damage to the walls. Step number two in finding a leak is to go ahead and find the pipes. For this, we're going to go ahead and utilize an RDL 7000 pipe locator, and then we also have a TX3 signal generator. And this is what we call the dummy mode. This is a, a very expensive locator. It actually has the ability to give you arrows to let you know when you're right on the pipe. And right there, we've got both arrows. We're directly over the pipe. And if you look down here in this corner, it's giving me a depth of one feet, one inch. If I go all the way down on top of the slab, we're approximately seven inches below the slab. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put some air into the line and we're gonna try to make it bubble. Now, you might be able to hear a slight hissing sound. And that tells us the air is going into the system. To set this microphone right on the concrete here, because I think there, there may be something going on here. This, this is the previous repair. I don't hear very much. Oops. So we've gone in and popped a couple holes. I'm going to put this probe through the hole and then we can listen for the sound. So I'm going to go over here. A nice little hole through the concrete. They've gone ahead and put their hole in and I crossed my fingers and what do you know? It's exactly where we thought. You can see we have a nice <coughs> hole here and if you look straight down, I'm going to go ahead and put my finger right on the actual leak right here. You, can, you, sh you should be able to hear that, that, that spitting noise. As you can see, we had a nice small hole there and the leak was exactly where we thought it was. Okay. This is one of those good ones where we were off by about three inches. So, uh, thank you very much. Uh, another successful leak detection by Acme Detection.